Hey guys, Mike with Motivate Fabrication. Uh, no, I didn't fall off the face of the earth, even though it's been a uh, long time since I've done a video. So since the COVID deal is kind of winding down, work got crazy busy. And to be honest with you, I just haven't had time to get out in the shop a whole lot. <clears throat> but um, you're probably looking at like, why is there a tractor in front of the screen here as I am most time I'm doing machine work or working on a lathe but um, this is my newest uh, project among the other ones I still have going on this is a 1970 Ford 3000 it's a diesel um, I got it for had a good deal um, less than half of what I saw the other ones going for because it was uh, missing a hood. Uh, the front end, uh, that's a whole nother story there. It had all the parts, but I decided based on some reading, um, I really want to put a front end loader on this. It's really primary reason I bought it. <clears throat> I know the front wheel drive, four wheel drive, Tractors are all the rage, but in there, 15, 20 grand and higher for a 40 horsepower engine like this one is. And I, I really just don't see a need for it. I just have three acres here and, um, you know, I'm going to use it for snow and just lifting stuff where I can't get my forklift. So what I did was, is I uh, traded out the agricultural adjustable front end and picked up this front end uh, off an industrial 3000 series it's i think it's this one actually came from a 335 which is a little bit newer version than a 3400 uh, industrial tractor but um it a bolt right up um this has got uh the main axle beam if it isn't swept back near as much so you don't get that rotational force under weight and it's got bigger spindles and appears to have bigger hub bearings um, bigger steering cylinders but uh in order to get that to work i mean it does bolt right up but uh, the oil pan um, they changed it on the industrial tractors to a cast iron oil pan versus the stamp metal. And that kind of um, ties it all together, increases the rigidity of the front. There's two big studs on the front that the, the bottom of this um, know, apron or whatever you want to call it, bolts to as well. So the job is uh, I need to get that... Uh, old oil pan off and clean the new cast iron pan I'm gonna paint it blue uh, this isn't gonna be a full-blown like showroom restoration but I do plan on repainting the tractor I'm just not gonna go crazy with it it's a tractor and I plan on using it so but I don't want it to look like dog shit either so I am gonna repaint it just not go like full on showroom quality or anything. So that's, um, for some of you guys that are thinking about using a 3000 with a loader, that's one option. You can swap the front end around. As far as the rest of the stuff and the Hendy Lathes project, um, made little headway. That's how it sits right now. Input pulley, finally got it sorted out. Got the, I was missing a nut to go on the end here. And I actually found it in the end casing. It unscrewed itself. So it that boogered up the threads and used a thread file and got that taken care of. And then um, kind of do it between working on a tractor waiting on parts I uh, got the quick change gearbox off power washed degreased 
I just need wire brushed and I got all of the internals uh, ran through the parts washer. So it's ready to go back together. Slow progress. I mean, I got a running lathe over there. It's kind of kind of on the back burner now, but because I'm real excited about the tractor, you know, how we bounce around, but I still plan on working on it from time to time and plan on seeing it through to the end. It's just uh, gonna take longer than originally planned. But uh, I'll do a kind of walk around on the tractor. It's got good rubber on it, which is a pretty big deal. From what I understand, uh, new tires for the rear are pretty, pretty pricey. Uh, it does have a live PTO. Three point, of course, missing the draw bar. And um, it's a, I believe it to be an eight speed. Could be a six speed, but I can't see the serial numbers on the side very good, but I think it's an eight speed. It's got a new dash in it, so I don't know how many hours on it, but the engine runs like a top. Doesn't smoke, doesn't knock. Uh, appears to have a new injector pump. A block heater that was recently installed and a new, fairly new battery. Battery's like two years old, so. And uh, new upper and lower radiator hoses within the last few years. So I, I believe this to be a, uh, a remote, like an auxiliary remote, I'm not sure. Uh, I've used a tractor, my dad had a 2110 when I was a kid. Used it quite a bit, but I'm not up on all of the, I know auxiliary hydraulics, you can run, you know, hydraulic cylinders off the three point and stuff, but I'm just getting into uh, learning what all the stuff is here. I do know that the three point lift is weak or doesn't work very well and um, that appears to be a fairly easy fix from reading on the uh, forums there's a, a lift cylinder and a plate that can get resealed power steering would work when it got hot um, there's the pump what's interesting about this tractor it's got a um, a separate hydraulic system for the power steering, a separate, this is the hydraulic pump for the three point. And then um, some people, when they put a loader on it, they drive a, another pump off the front crankshaft. So I did get new power, well, new to me, power steering cylinders, you can see right there. Um, the industrial tractor out of five eighths rod on the cylinders and versus the agricultural tractors only had half so swap those out even my cylinders weren't really any good anyway so we'll see what how those are but um plan is drop the oil pan get this other oil pan cleaned up i'm waiting on a gasket and um i've noticed in the back of this oil pan that let me take you off the stand here you know the the front section i just got ties in there but it also appears that the block is supposed to have studs coming out of it see the two holes but i don't have any studs nor any threads so the way I imagine that is that cast iron oil pan stiffens this whole assembly all the way out to the front for the industrial tractor. So I think I could um, potentially drill and tap and put studs in there, which seems a little scary, but if that's what I need to do, I'll do it. So if any of you have have had um, an oil pan off of a 335 or a 3400. I'd love to see pictures of what uh, what that looks like. 
Um, I'm assuming it's a bolt that goes through there because a stud you wouldn't get the oil pan down. But um, I'll bring you back in here once I get the power washed ready and I'll clean this pan up. And uh, maybe we'll drop this one and see how much gunk is in the bottom of it. So I'll bring it back in. So I got the uh, oil pan nice and cleaned out. I sprayed it with uh, degreaser three times and power washed it three times. So it turned out really good. I don't know, this thing feels about 100 pounds. And I uh, wanted to show you what the difference was between the, or is between the front wheel bearings these are the wheel bearings out of the new axle. So a 3400 series industrial front end. And these are the old bearings from the regular 3000, the agricultural adjustable front end. You can see there's a huge difference. So the diameter of all of this is larger. Um, I'm gonna go through this uh, put any new ball joints and tie rod ends, probably new pivot bushing, but I'm going to go through it one at a time, clean it up, paint it, and put it on. I got the uh, sheet metal oil pan dropped off and I was happy to see that there is, uh, you know, although the oil is pretty dark, it's, um, there's no sludge in the bottom no chunks of metal so should be a pretty healthy engine uh i wanted to pull the oil pan anyway because it has some damage at the bottom and i was worried about it um starving the pickup screen on the oil pump but you know it looks like it kind of dented uh, the screen in a little bit but there's this little wire i'm gonna take off and i'll bend that down clean the gasket Probably gonna drop that oil pump off of there so I can figure out what I'm gonna do with drilling that bell housing. So it appears to be, uh, well, I measured it is three quarter 16. And I do have a three quarter 16 tap. My biggest concern is when I drill the pilot hole is to get it straight. So what I'm thinking is, is maybe make some sort of um, bushing with a hole in it that's a make on the mill or lathe so it's centered and then I can either bolt it to that little other bolt next to it and use it as a jig to make sure I get a straight hole. Um, this should be the bell housing. There's the clutch lever, so shouldn't be any oil in here, and there's already holes drilled there and then up under here. So 
I think worst case scenario would be uh, drill the hole and hit some oil area, but I don't think there's any oil anywhere in this area. I think I, you have to go way a lot further back because this is all dry, being there's the throwout bearing and clutch and everything. An input sh shaft of transmission is probably, you know, back in this area. I know you guys are getting too close, but probably back in here somewhere. So, shouldn't have to worry about hitting any oil. Um, like I said, if I got the studs crooked, then the pan wouldn't want to go on. So I really need to make some sort of a jig to start the pilot hole for the correct size drill bit. I haven't looked it up what a three quarter 16 drill bit is. And then um, once I have the pilot hole drilled, I'll make uh, maybe drill out the jig to go to the correct size hole for that tap. But I think if I drop this oil pump down, <laughs> Give me enough clearance to, um, you know, drill that out. So, hand drilling is really the only option I have. But with the proper prep and a jig, I think I can get her done. Yeah, I could bolt it up there and not put the bolts in, but I think that kind of bypasses the whole point of putting the cast iron pan. As I said, it ties this whole area into the tractor. The engine block and oil pan is what will be stiffer to the bell housing transmission and the front bolster that holds all of the weight for the front axle. So I think I'm gonna proceed with making it the way a, an actual 3400 would be. Uh, stay tuned. Um, Next video, hopefully I can show that process of how I'm gonna do that. I need to get some studs ordered. Not even sure how long the studs need to be, so. But if any anyone uh, watching this has experience with a 3400 or knows how long the studs are, um, I'm pretty sure they're studs and not bolts because you can't really get a bolt So there's the holes where I believe the studs would come through, but you know, here's a bolt that has at least an inch of thread and you can't get it, you can't get it in here. So pretty sure there's, a, it's a stud and you have to put the oil pan up to clear the, up high enough and up around the oil pump and then slide it back over the studs get your nuts on, then you go and proceed with all the bolts around the oil pan. So I don't know that for a fact, but that's the only thing that makes sense to me. So anyway, that's the end of this video. And I hope, uh, I know it won't be ne near that long till I get another video out. So sorry about that, but enjoy. Thanks. Bye.